We are here to find out if vanilla means plain and boring, or if one of these three can bring some excitement to your life. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Teresa and I am so excited about today's video because it is a gift from another channel and a blind taste test of what vanilla is supreme. This gift is being brought to you by Cooking with Squirrel. He and Cam had a bit of a disagreement about what vanilla is best. So let's get started. Let's bring Cam out here and he's going to be taste testing three items and we will see which is best. So what you are going to be doing is you're going to be taste testing the three different cookies and you're going to be choosing what is your first, second, and third choice. So, you know, keep them where they are and just that, take the cookie out. But that one has a bite out of it already. <laughs> I had to bite it to make it fit in the cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I get it. I didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> I'm not gonna notice that. Everybody can see that. <laughs> really even okay so have fun taste each of the three cookies it's either madagascar tahitian vanilla or mexican vanilla and you're not trying to discern which is which you're just saying which do you like best if you can decide straight out taste test straight out okay. taste test and it's not just cookies we're going to be doing whipped cream next where pretty soon i'm making it not when where where it's not here? ready yet here oh. yes <laughs> have fun so, uh, straight cookie taste test. You know I'm here for it. Where to start? These are just different vanillas, right? Yes. All right, so they're different vanillas. I'm gonna start furthest away from you, the one with the bite already taken out of it. That to me is a pretty good indicator. It's probably gonna be good. All right, so it's blue. Mm. Mm. That was pretty good had a nice, uh, nice texture to it. Let's go on the opposite other side here. I didn't get a whole lot of vanilla in it though. Hmm. Very similar, the, the red cookie, but uh, I do get a vanilla flavor in, in it. Silver. Hmm. Gotta try them again just to make sure. Okay, this one actually has the most flavor. I could taste the, the most amount of vanilla and uh, complements the butter really well. What I think is gonna be number two. And this one's number three. This one is the most neutral, most flavorful, you know, combination of vanilla and butter. And uh, this one is kind of a, a happy medium. They all have similar texture. So quite frankly, this one is the most differentiated. These other two are fairly similar. That's what I got. Oh my what God, we do? I'm very impressed. So number one, what do you think it would be out of Madagascar, Tahitian or Mexican vanilla? Um, I'm guessing it's Madagascar. It is, oh my goodness. So there, you notice more vanilla. Yeah, it was just a better balance. There. Like I could actually get the buttery taste, mm -hmm. you know, the sugar and the vanilla yeah. all inside of there. Yeah. Yeah, Madagascar bourbon vanilla. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so the then... number, mm -hmm. the number two Mexican vanilla has a very distinct, like, I don't. It's not flat, but uh, smooth. Yeah, it's it's very smooth. It doesn't have that bite, like wow. Mexican vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is great. It's really. Uh, that's a you know top secret recipe, but uh, you wouldn't want like a real sharp vanilla. Mm -hmm. You want that smooth creaminess. Awesome. So That's on, it. on to number two, round two. Let's see if you have preference as well. All right, so I'm all jacked up on cookies. I had three on camera, and then I found the stash of the remainder of them. So uh, it's only natural that I go after more sugar here on flour, eggs, and yeast. Uh, what do I have here? Three whipped creams. Three whipped creams. 
And uh, we'll be looking for the vanilla just like we were with the, the cookies. And uh, I think this is gonna be just as much fun, although potentially a little bit more messy. I'm gonna start with this one going uh, as far away as I can. You can really, you really smell the vanilla in this. All right, let's see what we got. It actually tastes like a Cool Whip. It has a little bit more of a, a sharpness to it. This is a lot more subtle. It doesn't have the same... Yeah, this, this first one here is a lot. You can really smell it. This one smells very vanilla-like, but a lot less intense. This tastes like vanilla ice cream. I don't know yet. I didn't taste this one, but I think this is the Mexican vanilla. All right, let's try the last one here. Again, it's not, uh, this one is not as aromatic as the middle one, or the first one. Ooh, really get the, really get the vanilla in this one. I just like eating whipped cream, apparently. How do you want me to rate these? Uh, just by flavor. What by, by flavor or by the vanilla? Well, that makes it a lot more difficult because whipped cream goes with something else. It goes on ice cream, it goes on pie, it goes, it goes in a cup with a spoon. Um, that makes it a lot more difficult. From a pure whipped cream, like what you would expect, oh man, it's hard. This one tastes the most like what I would want. Uh, this is really hard. I'm gonna give this one the number two because it has a little bit more vanilla flavor. And I'll go with number three on this one. So the reason for the ratings, uh, one, absolutely the most floral and heaviest vanilla flavor. Two, kind of in the middle, makes sense. So you get a little bit, you could smell it a little bit and you could taste it, it's different. And number three is just a, a more mild and smooth delivery of vanilla. So uh, in the whipped cream challenge, that's the way I'm going. So please uh, reveal the results. It's really interesting. So okay. you rated this one number one. So yep. which one do you think it is? Well, I, I think based on the smell, I really think that that is the, um, the Madagascar. It is. <laughs> it you is. can smell it. It's like yeah. vanilla. <laughs> and then which one was number two? I think I did this one for number two. This this one right here? Yeah. So I that, would guess that that's the Tahitian. No, it's actually really? the Mexican. Yeah. Okay. So Mexican, Tahitian, Madagascar. Interesting. All right, so interestingly enough, water, alcohol, 35% get buzzed on this. Sugar and vanilla bean is the Mexican and the Tahitian. These are similar formulas, which makes sense because they're very close. It's very difficult to tell the difference of. The Madagascar, however, really had a, it was separated itself in, uh, in its applications. And it says water, cane alcohol, cane sugar, Madagascar vanilla bean extract. So maybe, it's, uh, maybe it has something to do with the formula that is you know, pushing this one up and out against the other ones. Um, by now you're probably wondering which one is the best, which one is number one. And I'm gonna say uh, the number one, the best vanilla here is the one that you like. Everybody has a different palette. Everybody's using it for different things. Um, I will say if you want the vanilla, if you really want that vanilla flavor, Madagascar would be my choice. Uh, and then it's a toss up. I think the, the Tahitian probably showed a little bit better um, you know, in the baked application and, as, and, and in the, the whipped cream itself. And then, you know, the, the Mexican vanilla, this, if, like if I was making homemade ice cream, I put this in there. It just has such a nice flavor to it. It's uh, not overbearing. It just really complements the vessel that you're using to consume it. So, um, 
There is no best, there's variety. Try them all. We have to give a really special thanks to uh, Cooking with Squirrel, who enabled us to do this. Uh, not only did he enable us to do it, he uh, inspired this. He's one of the few people who came out and said, you know what, maybe you like a different vanilla better. And he's not wrong. I think that if we do different types of things with these, I will. I already know we're going to make ice cream. We'll probably do that in the, you know, when we're done with our, uh, our, our diets, our New Year's resolutions. Um, and you can be sure that this would be my favorite, the Mexican vanilla for that. So that is uh, probably as good as it's going to get from the vanilla. I mean, you have to be asking yourself, does the type of vanilla that you choose to use make a difference? And the answer is Yes, it 100% makes a difference. It's up to you to decide which one of these different vanillas makes sense for you and what you want to enjoy. The buzz with your cuz, if you drink these, you're gonna get buzzed. <laughs> so that was, that was fun. It that was, was interesting. Uh, I, I was really not sure whether I would be able to tell a difference uh, from mm -hmm. these. I just love all the smells. I was like, I, I ate all the cookies after Cam did the, <laughs> did the tasting. I mean, I ate it before too. <laughs> she ate the cookies that were left that I, I left over. I found the stash first, I can assure you, we did damage. <laughs> but this was so much fun. And be sure to subscribe, comment below, and we will see you next week. Next week. Bye guys. Um, maybe that one doesn't want to be number three. I can't, uh, I can't tell. Okay, how do I... And now it's on, it's on my jacket. Okay, so... Do you want me to rank these or no? Uh, yeah, or just talk right. about them. I would say um, talk about them and rank them. Yeah, would be good. Well, I'm not going to rank them. I have a better idea. Okay, good deal. <laughs>